It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. Tonight it's postseason action between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's baseball. It's the show and it comes your way next. Jamie Callahan gets the call in game five of the series. What do you have for us on him Danny. Well this guy's kind of unique. How about a five pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties and if he's on he could be really tough to hit. Batting third designated hitter number 10. Here comes the first pitch and he takes a pitch right down the middle. Nunez a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Here it comes on nothing and two driven nicely into the gap. All right, take a look, take a look, take a look, turn. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-1 game. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. That Any big course. leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. The 2-2. Lofted in the air out to right field. Slayton back in plenty of time to put this away, hold however, here, and there are two gone. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So stepping in Russell Rose he'll get to take his first cuts here. Russell Rose. Ready with the 0 2. Now the runners on his way home. Hit on the ground out for short. Oh and this goes right past him. In to score is the runner from third. It's now a 4 2 game. Well coaches always say first things first right you can't make the throw if you don't have the ball in your hand Looked like he was eyeing the runner and the ball went right by him an error and a run scored as the result. Now at the plate number 10 twos number all over the place two 10. on two out and of course here in inning number two here comes the first pitch looks at a change up on the inside corner for a strike. Hey, I don't mind you taking one right there. This pitcher's been struggling early. You got to make him work. See if he'll get in his own. If he's willing to walk a few guys, this one gets through, and that could bring in a run. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a five to four ball game. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the shoot. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders, but that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. The left fielder, number two. Now at the plate, Kevin, Kevin Kramer, Kramer, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Center fielder, Digging three. in for his second at bat, Russell Rose, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out. First pitch of the at bat. Number 10. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Slayton racing back at the track, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. 
And he is into third with a triple, his third hit of the night. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they can't catch up to it. Next thing you know, it one hops the wall, and he's busting his hump around second on his way to third. Ready once again, Kevin Kramer. Number two, Kevin Kramer. A bouncer up the middle. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. So striding forward now, number 10. And he'll complete the cycle if he can blast one over the wall here. And a neck-high fastball that time. Now the 1-0 is taken for ball two. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Now the 2-1 pitch. This is pulled into right. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Number 10. Number switch 10. hitter batting left here. Now a throw over. And he'll dive back in safely. Perhaps wisely another look to first. And he'll dive back in. Here comes the first pitch. And there he goes for second. Hard ground ball to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs here. There's something pure and untarnished about a double A team winning a championship. Most of these guys don't make much money and some of them will never even sniff the big leagues. But they poured their hearts and souls and they're the Southern League champs. Good for them. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. And he was locked in at the plate up there. You could really see it in his approach and the swings he put on the ball. Finished with three base hits, and he certainly was a big factor in their victory.